Hey guys, welcome to another video for the Redmi K20 Pro and today it's a very very big day because yesterday we had the release of Android 12 Final or Android 12 Stable and the super amazing developers have got the stable Android in ASP form working as a daily driver on this particular phone and in this video we're going to find out how to install it, the step-by-step -step guide, what are the files that you will need and this will be followed up by a video in which you will have the initial impressions. But before we get into the details, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. In the description of each video, you will find a link to our Telegram community where you have more than a thousand like-minded people chatting with each other, so join us there. Last but not the least, if you think the hard work is worth the effort, please click on the join button and support the channel. Now without further ado, hello awesome people, welcome to Phone Ops. my name is Kailash, let's get going. Alright, so let's see what we have here. Android open source project Android 12 released on the 5th of October 2021. It is available in vanilla 600 MB. See how light it is. G apps 1.3 GB. Now this is a build that we are using the G apps one. It says initial stable daily drivable Android S build based on MIUI Android 10 vendor plus firmware comes in both G apps and vanilla flavors. Switch to UDPS FOD implementation from Google. I am yet to get more information on that, but it definitely sounds like we will have better impl implementation of FOD. Added support for Monet themed icons out of the box. Safety net will pass with Majisk and with Majisk hide turned on. And the only bug is SE Linux is permissive and if there are any more bugs, we will find them out later. So in this particular video, what we are going to do is we are going to boot into TWRP. We will flash the Android 10 firmware, the one which we are using, Vendor Plus firmware is 12.0.3 and then we will flash the ROM which has GApps built in and hopefully we should be good to go. Now there are a couple of more steps wherein you can flash DFE to avoid encryption or you can flash Magisk to have safety net passing but we are not going to do that. So let's see here, first things first do not flash in this state 17 percent battery i am used to taking risks with my devices i don't suggest you to do that so please be very careful make sure all the data on your phone is backed up because you will lose everything and we're going to do a format data you do need an unlocked bootloader along with orange fox recovery installed now i do have the rom copied to the phone's internal storage and i do have the vendor firmware copied in there as well let me show you that real quick so let's see here this is the rom and this is the vendor and firmware right now before we proceed an important step that i would recommend you to do remove all your lock screen passwords and everything else right and remove all your google accounts mi account everything this is something we always say and you should always do to avoid any encryption decryption issues so let's reboot to orange fox recovery press and hold volume up and power release the buttons the moment you see the me logo so the first thing that we'll do is go to wipe dalvik cache system vendor data don't wipe internal storage that's where our files are okay once everything is wiped go here first flash the vendor add to queue and flash the g apps build swipe to confirm flash now remember if you're flashing the vanilla version after flashing the rom you need to flash g apps and if you need root access, you will have to flash Magisk. Now it is going to take some time, say 30 seconds to a minute to flash both the files. So please be patient while that happens. All right, now as you can see, everything has been flashed. So the last step to do is go to wipe, format data and type in yes. Now remember this will wipe everything on your internal storage. And once everything is done, go to reboot system and we should be booting into Android 12 stable just fine. Let's see how quickly it boots. There you go, you have the beautiful Android 12 boot animation. And this is AOSP, Android open source project. So this is Android in its purest form. Let's wait for the boot to complete and I will take you through the setup menu. Oh, that was quick, it took less than 15 to 20 seconds. So let's hit start over here. So I don't have a SIM card in this particular device. Okay, now the important part, we're gonna test the FOD here. Oh, 
okay so it accepted my fingerprint over there and bam we are on the home screen of android 12 and as always this is smooth as ever right as you can see i don't have any force closures or any issues at all so let's quickly go to settings over here let's go to about phone android version 12 that's your android easter egg just like in the beta versions you have it this is the build number perf kernel it comes with the october security patch there you have it android 12 stable on your k20 pro we have another video coming up with the initial impressions let me know in the comment section are you excited for this build or not until the next one this is kalash signing off at phone ops keep smiling take care goodbye